What up, everybody? It's your girl July from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to sidechain in Reason. Now, I have done a video on how to sidechain specifically with the kick in 808, but this time I'm going to show it in a different genre context. So, I'm going to show you how to sidechain using more than one input. So, actually, let's sidechain both this bass and this pad to the kick rather than just the bass and the kick. It's not necessarily easy to understand in Reason, so I'm going to explain that. I'm going to go into Utilities, and I'm going to go into Built-in Devices, and I'm going to grab a Spider Audio Merger Splitter. Now, normally, if you wanted to sidechain something in Reason, you would figure out what the source is, so I would want my bass to be sidechained by my kick, meaning I want my kick to duck every time my I want my bass to duck every time my kick hits, sorry. So in order to do that, you would take this sidechain input here and have the have the parallel, basically, if said the right way in signal flow terms, you would have your kick signal going into the sidechain input of the bass. Now, what if I want to send this kick signal to the bass and the pad? Then you need to split the signal using this spider audio merger and splitter. So I'm going to take the parallel signal of this kick and put it into this splitter section here, which is on the right side. Then I'm going to take this output and put it into the sidechain input of the pad and the second one and put it into the sidechain input of the base. Now, if you need more than more of these, then you can create another merger splitter. And there are also more CV devices with more uh, inputs and outputs for you to use if you want to merge or split at your leisure. Now, after you connect those, you're going to come up to the dynamic section and you will see the key light is on for both of these, meaning there is an input from the kick going into the pad sound and the bass sound. So this is the sound we have right now without the sidechain initial or turned on. So if we turn this compressor on here for the pad, you see we start getting that. Now let's go ahead and mute the bass really quick. We can pull the threshold down so we get more compression. You can go as drastic as you want. Or you can go as light as you want. So that is how you sidechain multiple inputs using the same signal. Am I saying that correctly? That is how you sidechain multiple tracks using the same signal, the same input signal and reason. And this gives you four if you would like to do more than four. Like I said, you can create another one and keep merging and splitting the signal or whatever you would like to do. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.